Hi everyone, this is Tutor Marife MCP. I create math video lessons that could serve as your supplemental learning resources. In this video, I will teach you how to solve for the value of x and how to find the measure of each of these four indicated angles. We have here parallelogram HOPE or HOPE. These are the four interior angles of parallelogram HOPE. And two of its interior angles, which are opposite angles of parallelogram HOPE, are represented by the expressions 2x plus 25 and 3x minus 15. Our first goal is to find x. Once we know the value of x, finding the measure of each of these four indicated angles becomes easy. Okay, so how do we form our working equation for x? We are going to use one of the properties of a parallelogram stating that the opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. When we say opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent, we mean that their measures are the same or equal. Let's define opposite angles of a parallelogram. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are not next to each other. They are not adjacent. They are not consecutive and they do not share a common side. In any parallelogram, you would always have two pairs of opposite angles. Let's focus on our parallelogram HOPE. Our two pairs of opposite angles are angle H and angle P, first pair. Angle O and angle E, second pair. Each pair of opposite angles are congruent or they have equal measures. So let's mark the opposite angles that are congruent to each other with single arcs and double arcs. So this angle is congruent to this angle. While this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay, so the angles with the same markings, single arc marks, are congruent to each other because they are opposite angles of the parallelogram. And this pair of angles with the same markings, double arc marks, are also congruent to each other because they are opposite angles of parallelogram HOPE. Okay, so... We can equate the two expressions representing the respective measure of angle H and angle P because they are equal. So 2x plus 25 equals 3x minus 15. This equation comes from the application of the property relating the opposite angles of parallelogram HOPE. They are congruent. Okay, so solving linear equation. How do we solve a linear equation in single variable? We collect the variable terms on one side of the equation and we collect the constant terms on the other side of the equation. Let's collect the variable terms on the left side and collect the constant terms on the right side. Eliminate plus 25 on the left side of the equation by subtraction property of equality. Subtract 25 from both sides of the equation. Left side minus 25, right side minus 25. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the left side of the equation. The left side becomes 2x only. The right side becomes 3x minus 40. Negative 15 minus 25 is equal to negative 40. 
Let's eliminate the variable term on the right side of the equation by subtraction property of equality. Subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. Right side minus 3x, left side minus 3x. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the right side of the equation. We are left with negative 40 on the right side of the equation. The left side becomes 2x minus 3x equals negative x. The invisible numerical coefficient of negative x is negative 1. We want positive x because we are solving for the value of x. How do we make this into positive x? We can either multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, that is the application of the multiplication property of equality, or divide both sides of the equation by negative 1, and that is the application of division property of equality. Let's divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to positive 1. So our left side becomes positive x. This is our target. And the right side of the equation becomes negative 40 divided by negative 1 or positive 40. This is the value of x. And we are done with number 1. We need to find the value of x. Since we already know the value of x, finding the measure of each of these four indicated angles becomes easy. Okay, let's proceed to number two. Measure of angle OHE. Angle OHE is the same as angle H. Remember that when an angle is named using three capital letters, the middle letter is the vertex of the angle. So angle OHE is actually the same as angle H. And this angle is represented as 2x plus 25. Substitute 40 into x. 2 times 40 plus 25. 2 times 40 is equal to 80. 80 plus 25 is equal to 105 degrees. This is the measure of the first indicated angle, angle OHE. It's equal to 105 degrees. Since these are opposite angles and opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent or they have equal measures, then angle P, measure of angle P or angle OPE, P is the middle letter, this is the vertex of the angle, is also equal to 105 degrees. We can readily obtain the measure of angle OPE because of the property of a parallelogram relating the opposite angles of a parallelogram. They are congruent. The other way in solving for the measure of angle OPE is using x equals 40. Substitute 40 into x of this expression, 3 times 40 is equal to 120 minus 15 equals 105 degrees. Okay, let's proceed to number 4. Find the measure of angle HOP. The middle letter is O. This is the vertex of the angle. Angle HOP is the same as angle O. This is angle O. And we are going to use another property of a parallelogram stating that the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. When we say supplementary, they add up to 180 degrees. Let's define consecutive angles of a parallelogram. The consecutive angles of a parallelogram are angles that are 
next to each other. They are adjacent to each other. They share a common side. In any parallelogram, you would always have four pairs of consecutive angles. Let's consider the parallelogram HOPE. Our four pairs of consecutive angles are angle H and angle O, first pair, angle O and angle P, second pair, angle P and angle E, third pair, angle E and angle H, fourth pair. The measures of consecutive angles add up to 180 degrees. So let's use that property in writing our equation to be able to solve for the measure of angle HOP. Angle HOP or angle O is next to angle OPE or angle P and also next to angle OHE or angle H. So you can solve for the measure of angle HOP in two ways. First way is by referring to this pair of consecutive angles or referring to this pair of consecutive angles. You would get the same answer for measure of angle HOP. So let's focus on this pair of consecutive angles. Measure of angle HOP plus measure of angle OPE add up to 180 degrees. Application of the property of a parallelogram stating that the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Okay, so let's replace this with its value. We already obtained the measure of angle OPE or angle P and it's equal to 105 degrees. This equation becomes measure of angle HOP plus 105 degrees equals 180 degrees. Since we are solving for this one, we need to isolate it on the left side of the equation and we need to eliminate this on the left side. Let's use subtraction property of equality. Subtract 105 from both sides of the equation. Left side minus 105 degrees, right side minus 105 degrees. Additive inverses cancel out each other on the left side of the equation, so measure of angle HOP is isolated on the left side. The right side is the difference between 180 and 105, which is equal to 75 degrees. So we are able to find the measure of our third indicated angle. Measure of angle HOP is equal to 75 degrees. This is angle HOP. And angle HOP or angle O is the opposite angle of angle E or angle HEP. This is the last indicated angle. And since opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent, they have equal measures. Therefore, measure of angle HEP or angle E or angle PEH is also equal to 75 degrees. And so we're done. X is equal to 40. Measure of angle OH is equal to 105 degrees. Measure of angle OP is also equal to 105 degrees. Measure of angle HOP is equal to 75 degrees. And measure of angle HEP is also equal to 75 degrees. So the focus of this topic is on the two properties of a parallelogram. Again, opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent and consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Of course, we can validate our answer. We know that the sum of the four interior angles of any four-sided polygon, a parallelogram is a four-sided polygon, is always equal to 360 degrees. Let's validate our answers. 105 plus 105 is equal to 210. 
75 plus 75 is equal to 150. 210 plus 150 is equal to 360 degrees. So we validated our answers. That's all. If you have any questions, you want further clarification, or you want to s simply give a comment, feel free to post it. Again, this is Tutor Marife MCP. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video.